Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about five reasons that I think you should learn how to code. Now, just to preface this a little bit, I think that everybody should learn how to code no matter what profession or career you have. It is just a really helpful skill for you to have because you're able to make things that don't necessarily exist or be able to help you with your specific job. But this channel is specifically tailored towards those who are wanting to become penetration testers or bug bounty hunters. So let's go ahead and talk about my top five reasons why I would learn how to code if I were to do it all over again. And I already know there are gonna be some people with some pushback saying, well, so-and-so is a really great hacker and a really great penetration tester and they don't really know how to code. I would argue that they'd be even better if they knew how to code. And if they wouldn't be, then they are definitely the exception and not the rule. And the odds are that you're gonna be one of those exceptions it is really low. And I'm just trying to help you set yourself up for the best success possible or the most likely way to succeed. And I think that's just gonna happen if you know how to code. So let's go ahead and start with number one. The absolute best reason to learn how to code is because it is going to help you with your problem solving skills. You will learn to think in if then statements. So if this function runs, then what is going to happen? If I change this parameter, then how is the server going to respond? And so thinking in if then statements is really going to help you beyond just learning how to code. It's going to help you in actually doing and engaging in penetration testing or bug bounty because you're going to say if i do this then how is the server going to respond or if i change this parameter how is this going to give me an error is there anything i'm able to do with this error and so thinking in if then and being able to sit and stare at a proxy request or some kind of code and be able to think how am i going to be able to change this in order to get it to give me what i want it's going to help you think through logically how the system or the code or the program is actually functioning. And this is really gonna help you in your problem solving skills. And number two is you're gonna be able to automate your own tools and your own recon. You'll be able to create your own recon tools and you'll be able to automate your recon specifically how you like it and get the information back from a specific target that you want. Now there are a lot of really great automated recon tools and tools out there to help you. But even if there are tools out there, they are not going to be tailored for you. They're going to be tailored for the person who created them. It's going to be like going and buying a t-shirt that doesn't fit and say, well, you know, it does the job. You're going to want something that is tailored to you and you'll be able to change it so that it fits you exactly how you want. This is going to be really helpful for you because you may be getting back a bunch of information that you really don't want. You just want something very specific and you can just read the code, comment out what you don't want, and then run the tool. So being able to modify the code for tools and recon is really gonna help you. That leads me into number two is you're gonna need, you will need to know how to modify exploits in the future if you want to be a penetration tester. You will have to be able to read the code and change it so the way it fits or it works or it runs how you need it to. Sometimes systems are updated, sometimes there are other reasons that you will need to be able to modify the code or pass in a different parameter, or maybe your specific targets taking in two parameters and the code is set up for one. You will need to be able to change and modify the exploits. It is just something that you will need to be able to do. And beyond just that, you'll need to know how to read and understand code because if you're just firing off exploits at a target left and right, eventually you're going to run malicious code on your own computer and you are going to crash it or you're going to have something terrible happen. And even worse than that, if you're just firing off exploits and you don't know what they do, you might crash a client server. So it will be helpful for you to know how to code. And beyond just that, a employer or an employer is going to want you to be able to code because it will advance your career career. They're going to want you to be able to collaborate and work with others. So I kind of just put the last two together. But number four is you will advance your career if you know how to code. It's going to look really good for employers when they see your resume and it says that you know how to code. It will just be something that stands out and maybe even set you apart. And then number five is collaboration. If you can put down on a resume, not only that you know how to code, but you have taken a tool or you have collaborated with other people or you've modified your recon process, it is going to look really good knowing that you can actually just take other people's code, write your own code, and you can collaborate and work together with others. And it's also going to show that you're able to work with your coworkers if you ever need to in the realm of writing exploits or changing exploits or editing their code or reading their code or doing a code review 
or anything along those lines. So I know there are a ton of other reasons that you might want to learn how to code. And I am really curious, what is your number one reason that you would want to learn how to code, whether it is for ethical hacking or penetration testing or just some personal gain or some personal project you want to accomplish? I'm curious, what is your top reason? Also, what language do you think is the best and that people should try to learn today as we go into 2024? Thanks for watching.